Ladies, gentlemen, gather round the campfire. How are you all doing today? I have one of the funniest videos I think I have possibly ever seen on the internet. Now, one thing we might all want in life is money. Personally, I live on the streets. I drink, sit on the benches, drinking Frosty Jack ciders, drinking my sorrows away. Yeah. I use Starbucks Wi-Fi to upload videos and do all that sort of stuff if you're wondering how I do this. I don't actually have a microphone, I just sort of breathe into uh, my iPad. Yeah, I stole the iPad though, I've got no money again. It's not my fault. Times are tough, bro, alright? It's not my... I lost my job because I got caught drinking on job. It's sad, you know what I mean? Whisking my coffees in the morning and then in the afternoon we move on something a bit sturdy, I don't know, like gin, maybe vodka if I'm feeling a bit leery. But anyway, this morning I was in the local boozer watching Francis beat Fury, but then at the end Fury beat him somehow. It, you know questions are asking i came across this video i'm just going to play it and we can all watch it if you've ever thought about robbing a bank we've all done it we go fuck me i need some money well, what, what's the logical explanation let's let's rob a starbucks let's rob a bank maybe let's rob a, a costco you know what i mean get some food this happened in america we're just going to play it This guy's just on the phone like, excuse me, sir, I'm, 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 I think it looks like a, a beautician, doesn't it? There's lots of nail things, like, na is that like nail colours or creams or things like that? I don't know, like a beautician. Happened in Atlanta, Georgia, so that probably tells you all you need to know. This man came bursting in, balls deep, ready to steal money. Now, what happened? No one took him seriously. Everyone thought he was a bit of a joke. It's like if Homer Simpson came up and robbed you, you'd probably start laughing. <laughs> He's not very good at crowd control. I mean, I played Payday 2. I played a bit of Payday 3. you got to get the people in a corner and hold the gun at them and say, Calm down! And then you get a bit of hog tie or rope tie and tie it round them. Ooh, kinky. You know, what's this guy thinking? He's clearly not done this properly before. This woman at the back, she's just said, Fuck this shit. Fuck this shit, I'm out. Fuck this shit, I'm out. You know, he, he's trying to be Mr. Big, Biggie Big Balls. You know, he's trying to say, Look at me, I'm a king. I am here to steal your hard-earned cash. Actually, no, I scrapped that. I'm going to steal your hard-earned nails. Take them off! I want your nails! Are they fake? Even better, he's gonna sell these acrylics, that's what they call them. Not my shit. He's gonna sell these acrylics on eBay for three billion gazillion squid. I don't think this guy's very bright, you know. I don't think he's worked this out in terms of what sort of financial situation they're in. Firstly, this is 2023, mate. Everyone uses card. I don't think I've paid for anything in cash for about three, four, five, six, maybe 12 years, you know. I'm not. I just, who has cash? So when he's going, give me your money! Where's the money? And they're, he's, he's asking like this lady who's waiting to get her nails done like, like she has any clue where the person who owns this hides the money. Just ignore him and he's like, this is not working. This is not working, god damn. God damn, what's going on? Food's on the rice, money's on the rice, but I need to feed my cat. Where's the money? Where is he? Where's the money? I need the money. You know, it, it's kind of ridiculous. This guy has not thought this through in any way, shape or form. This woman's still outside like she just doesn't care. He just walks out. Just walk out like, mission failed. We'll get him next time. I mean, this must be the most depressing thing ever. Imagine going home and realising, so I just went to go rob a nail salon, which is kind of questionable in any way. You know, you've got to have a tiny brain to do something like that. Not only has it, you got, you know, uh, to fail to do it, you then have to leave and everyone thinks you're a lacking stock. No one's taking you seriously. I wonder what gun he had. Let's let's watch it. So does he have a gun? I mean, what what is that? Is that, is that it looks like a, it looks like a hairdryer. I mean, what's he brought? What is that? Is he hiding the gun? I think maybe he's pretending he has a gun. And look at this lady, he's like, where's the money? She's like, mmm, back out, back out. And he just doesn't even pay attention. These two people down here are like, fuck me, not again. This is third time today. Just waiting to get my nails done, mate. There's no money here, there's no cash. I mean, <laughs> that he's just like, this shit, this ain't work. I mean, he's not really well disguised, is he, though? You turn your hat the other way. Do you think you could get done for attempted robbery doing this? I mean, look at the owner or, you know, the worker. I don't know what this guy might own it. He's just like, bro, you're literally the third person today. Get out the shop. There's no cash here. Card only to, you know, no cash on site to avoid situations like this. Hey, you should just go and steal all their acrylics. I reckon they're worth a fair whack Do you not think, like, actual nail polish and things like that? I don't know how much it costs to get your nails done uh, simply because I don't do them. What? I don't get my nails. No, we're bad. 
But I can imagine they'd probably go for a certain level of wackaroonies, do you not think? He's got his Elvis glasses on and he's looking around like, I've really fucked this up. I should have been slightly more uh, persistent, a bit more aggressive in my tone of nature. I mean, is that a little kid next to her? She's, she's like, what, what's going on? Where's the money? <laughs> this guy's just on the phone. I mean, this truly is possibly one of the worst bank robbers in the world. Poor people. Yeah, ignore the local thief. Children practice reading much to shelter dogs so they don't feel alone. <laughs> The grief when he got back home, absolutely. He would have been so upset. Oh, big boobies. Everyone in the world is broke, mate. It's not just you. We just don't go around robbing people, you dirty scumbag. But if I was going to rob someone, let, let's get this straight. I would never rob anyone. I think thieves are like the worst type of criminals, you know. You take other stuff that people have earned. You know, everyone's struggling and this guy's just going around stealing it. But... Not well, he's not stealing it, is he? He's not very good at this. So he's gone and done this. Clearly, his rice cakes are getting too expensive. He probably doesn't even have a gun in there. You know what I mean? It's like a bag, isn't it? Why wouldn't you just get it out and show them? I think people will probably be a bit more nervous. He's like, I thought someone tipped me. I paid 20 bucks to know this joint had loads of cash. But if I was going to rob somewhere, right? Well, I just wouldn't. You know what I mean? And not a nail salon. You'd go for like GTA heist level. If you're going to go down in prison, you're going to risk your entire life for like 20 quid. You might as well go for 20 million. I mean, you know, there's no. There's there's no middle ground on this. You go in full hog. You go in full shebang. I'm not messing about. If if, if times are tough, mate, you got to do it. But anyway, I want you guys in the comments to uh, write me an essay on how this guy could improve. What went wrong for him? I think firstly, choice of outfit makes him look like a bit of a paedophile. Secondly, he should have hidden himself more. Thirdly, probably hide the uh, get out the gun. You know what I mean? If you've actually got a gun, which I severely suspect he doesn't thirdly or fourthly i can't remember be a bit more intimidating man you're like five foot four if this guy came up and robbed me i think i'd probably start laughing it's like if chicken little came up to you and asked for your money you would not take him seriously he is a punani dunani and it's even funnier that it happened in atlanta georgia i mean i don't know what's going on in that state man it's uh, it's a crazy place to live clearly you got idiots running around with hats and handbags i mean you know he's holding a handbag let's not let's not get this out of the picture let's not get crazy about this thing he's wearing a goddamn ha handbag and it's just just terrible i mean at this moment he knew he fucked up thank you so much god bless let's all write an essay on how we can improve